Welcome back to What Arty Noobs with General Disturbance. This is an ARL 44. It's a tier 6 French heavy tank. It's located on the north spawn of Wide Park and it's under the command of Delimon or Delimon? Delimon. We'll call him Delimon from now on. And uh, he's a member of What Arty Noobs, but this is a replay from a long time ago. We'll see how long when you see the results. Well, the ARL-44 is a tank that was actually made from the Char B-1 hulls that were left over after the fall of France. It's actually a pretty awful tank, actually, in all, in all regards. And David Fletcher thinks it's absolutely dreadful. So it's got fairly good armour on the front of the turret and the front of the hull. But uh, it's either got a 105mm gun, a 90mm gun, or a 76mm. Let's have a look and see which one he's got. Okay, he's got the 90mm gun, 240 alpha, and 170 penetration. Yeah, you can probably hear from the engine, which I'm having to almost speak over. It's actually a very old replay, this one. Very old indeed. Goes back about four or five years. First target's coming to sight, it's a KV-2. Didn't penetrate. Okay, KV, our KV-2 is getting in the way there. Puts one in. Gets 230 off that one. Reloading. It's quite a long reload for the 90mm. Good hit on the turret. 248. The KV-2 appears to be focusing on our KV-2. And he got killed. Now go for a Sherman. Big hit. Average roll. Goes for it again. Can't see the outline, but I think he is still there. He's hiding behind a wreck, I think, maybe. Or is he? He's hiding behind something. Our duck's moving forward. Oh, he's actually just underneath the bridge. That's why. Okay, we've got a T-150 dialing in. Gets a hit. Didn't see how much damage he did, though. Here goes to the Sherman. Yep, got him. Took a big hit there from the T-150. Lost about a third of our hit points in the process. Now, can we get a shot on him? We've only got the front of the tracks. He's tracked him. Took some round there from enemy RT. That's the Panzerseps Fahlefetter, or the Grasshopper. We're pulling back into cover. Can't see the T-150 anymore, but he probably can't see us either. Now, you can see two marks of excellence on the barrel of that gun. So, obviously, De Delimon is actually quite a decent player in this tank. And, of course, it is from so long ago that, yes, he was probably one of the first players in the game. Okay, so he's waiting, holding the uh, bridge at the moment, not going over or going under. And I think he wants some focus on that area because... Uh, he says he needs RT dead. <laughs> yeah, he don't want to get hit by RT again. C-150's pulled back into cover. There's a box tank further up the road as well. And the Hellcat. Okay, he sees the Hellcat dialing in. Gets a nice hit on the Hellcat. And the Hellcat's down. It means he can move up now because... Well, actually the box tank is over on the other side of the map actually. And there was me thinking it was over this side. T1, T80, takes a big round, high roll, 242, takes another hit from him, but he's going to finish him off, yeah, got him. So, just got to deal with that T150, he's just around the corner, I think. Can he shoot through the arch? Probably. The guy's been hit, he's tracked, go for it, fires one in, high roll, 246. Oh, T-150 took a round from RT. Can we get a shot through the gap? I think we might be able to. And I think he's actually hitting the hitbox. So if he carries on doing this, he can wreck the guy without actually coming into sight. Oh, unfortunately, that didn't work. He took more damage. It was from an M44. Go around the corner, finish off the T-150. Yes, got him. So, three kills now to Delimon. 
Oh, he's saying some rather cruel things in chat. <laughs> oh dear, that's not necessary. I think he's just staying here a moment so he goes unsighted by the enemy. Looks like most of the enemy tanks are over on the other side of the map. Two RT and two mediums, or is it? No, two RT, a medium and a light. The medium's an M4A3 uh, Sherman Jumbo, and two RTs, an M44 and a Grasshopper, and the light tank is a Lux. Well, he's decided to come back this side of the railway line, and I suspect he's doing it because he thinks the enemy is probably going to try and make an attempt to go up the line. There's the Sherman Jumbo near the crossing. Not sure he can get a shot from here. Oh, he's going to go down the other side of the embankment for the railway. Oh, no, there's the M4A3 E2. Puts a nice round into him, pulls back into cover. Turn fire. Now, I think the the E2 is probably going to stay there for the moment. Then our RT soften him up. Then we'll go over. The Lux is just by the factory. There's E2. Oh, he's facing off against our KV2 now. So we can auto aim on, take him out, and no, oh, no need to auto aim. Finishes off the Sherman Jumbo. Now, can he go after this uh, Lux? He's reloading. Should be able to get him with one shot. No, two shots, sorry. Missed him with the first shot. He's going to have to chase him down. Looks like the Lux hasn't got the auto cannon, but takes a round. He's got the five centimeter. Rammed him. He's only got six hit points left. Yes. And that means there's only two RT left, and both RT have actually hit Delimon in before so of course now it's time for him to get some revenge he's got five kills if he gets the next one it's a top gun there's the grasshopper yeah there he is he's in sight dialing in takes the hit so he's got his top gun he just needs to kill the m44 now and he's just waiting a sec before he comes out no M44 in sight, but he is over in that corner. There he is! 51 hit points, he's a one shot. But he's probably going to have a go at shotgunning us. Oh, yes! Wins the game! Well done, Delimon. Let's have a look at the end of battle stats. It's an ace tank of a Delimon in the IRL 44. An absolutely dreadful tank and we can now see that this game was the 1st of September 2015, five years ago. Yep, okay. Uh, Fire for Effect, a duelist, a hand of God and a bruiser out of the minor medals. Out of the epics and battle heroes, he managed to get a Spartan medal for res bouncing an enemy round when he had less than 10% of his hit points left. And that was from the looks, I think. Uh, the high caliber for dealing the most damage in the game and a top gun for getting at least six skills. He ended up with seven. Let's have a look at the team score. 2,974 hit points of damage from that game. The next high scorer was the M44 with 1361 and then the T150 with 1182 and the Sherman Jumbo managed 1,058. Those are the only players who managed to get over 1,000 hit points in total. When it came to kills, it was Delimon again with seven kills, three kills to the M44, so he was quite a good player, and two kills to the KV2, the Burt on our own team, and the Sherman Jumbo, the Box Tank, and the T150 on the enemy team. When it came to base XP, yes, he's got the top in all three columns. He's got 1,445 base, 702 went to the Sherman Jumbo on his own team, 639 to the KV2 on his own team. He fired 21 rounds, got 19 direct hits and 16 penetrations, damage of 2,974 hit points, all of it at close range, 
Nine hits received from the enemy, only five of which were penetrations and four non-penetrations, one hit by way of splash damage and 440 hit points of damage blocked by armour. He spotted one enemy vehicle, that was probably one of the aunties, nine enemy vehicles damaged, seven killed and 2,218 uh, 2, hit points of damage assistance. He earned 49,413 credits on a premium count, and after repair and ammunition respawn, took away 41,775 credits. He received 2,168 XP, got 4,334 from personal missions payout, and took away 6,501 experience points altogether. You're probably wondering why he didn't get a Pascucci's medal, because he did kill two arty. Yes, this game is so old that this was before they changed the rules, and Pascucci's medals normally required the killing of three RT, not two. They, when they brought in the HD clients, they brought the numbers down. So now, in fact, after I think it was after uh, 9.18, and this is a 9.9. .9, uh, so they changed the rules that um, you get a Pascucci's for killing two and a Demetrius for killing three. Back then, you got a Pascucci's only if you killed all three RT on your team. And of course, Wargaming normally only put three RT in the game, back, even back then. Uh, I think I have seen some battles way, way, way back where there was much more than three RT on either side. Um, I think that was a long time ago. But uh, no, in this game, uh, there was only a maximum of three RT. In fact, this game, they only had two RT either side, so it wasn't possible for him to get a Pascucci's. But a very good performance by Delimon. Even though he was being hit by RT, he carried on performing. And yes, he did make some wise decisions to pull back, because if he'd actually tried to go ahead, go forward, and take out that T-150 face-to-face, -face, he would have had that T-80 shooting him in the rear. So by pulling back a bit, he actually enabled himself to uh, um, regroup and sort out how he was actually going to go after the enemy. And T-150 obliged him by pulling into cover, which meant then it was okay for him to deal with the T-80 and then deal with the T-150 afterwards. If you enjoyed that replay, please give this video a like and do subscribe to our channel. I will adjust the volume on further games because, yes, I think I probably should have adjusted the volume straight away on this one. Uh, it's way too loud on sound and, uh, yes, so you like to be able to hear yourself over the voice of the vehicles. Uh, anyway, thank you very much indeed for watching.